So hey guys, have you guys ever had any intrusive thoughts? Today I had one, and I'm going to let it take over. So today we're going to build DD and we're going to do it the most degenerate way possible. So for the time being we'll just put in basic package to start. And the concept for today is going to be pretty simple. We're just wanting to special summon um, a pretty degenerate card to special summon on our opponent's turn. And of course that means we're going to be special summoning um, our copy of... Oh, let, let me scroll down to it first, I guess. Do, do, do. We're going to be special summoning DDDD Duo Don King Kelly Yuga, specifically on our opponent's turn. And if we do so, of course, specifically an XYZ summon, for the rest of this turn, other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, and other cards' effects on the field are negated. But why is that there? And on the card as well. Cards like that. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, once per turn, quick effect, you and detach one material from this card. I destroy all spells and traps on the field. So, this plays around a little bit if your opponent were, I guess, not playing um, a monster heavy deck and a controlled deck. Then you just do this in the end phase, and then our opponent should be giga screwed, right? So you can detach one material from this card, then target one dark contract spell trap in your graveyard, set that target, and our opponent will not be able to activate anything, so that this is like King Calamity Lock, but arguably better, one might say. So yeah, we're going to be doing this, so we need two level 8 DD monsters to do this, so not really concerned about that overall, but we're going to still need to kind of finish up the deck so we'll need a second to do that and we'll run two of these uh this is the best way to actually get multiple multiple eights on the field that yeah, this is a pretty decent way the other way would be to use oblivion king abyss ragnarok and this doesn't deviate too much from the line you'll probably end up seeing if you play against dd so Pretty chill, pretty whatever. And then we'll need one of you guys as well. And let's see what I forgot to put in. Uh, okay, so didn't put in the contract with the gate. And we're also missing something else. Where is my uh, Typhon? There is Typhon. And I think that's everything we need for the main deck here, for the time being. And for the extra deck... Uh, we're pretty stocked up here. So, we have one flex slot left, and we can adjust the extra deck later. So... If we were to combo right now, it would just be the standard combo. And, of course... As is, DD has no way to access or XYZ summon on your opponent's turn, so you're never making Kelly Yuga with only the DDD cards on your opponent's turn. So, how exactly are we going to be going into our uh, copy of uh, wrong card here? Into our, our copy of Duo Don King Kelly Yuga here. So, idea pretty simple execution might not be honestly so let's just throw in a few more hand traps and i guess we, we can adjust for later so cards we're going to be running are of course going to be the newly added like xyz armored cards so we're simply going to be abusing uh let's see these cards so, specifically, we're going to use this one, Full Armored XZs. If an XYZ monster is on the field, immediately after this effect resolves XYZ, summon one XYZ monster using monsters you control. So, if our conditions are met here, we can indeed XYZ summon Kali Yuga. So, all we, we would need is literally to control DS Machinax and then two level 8 monsters, bare minimum. And then boom, 
full armor deck Z's all over our opponent. Easy enough. So for now, we're going to adjust the uh, extra deck. Th this is going to hurt me to do a little bit, but uh, we're going to have to remove Oracle King Dark. And we'll, we'll consider removing Lamia, but it's fine for the time being. We'll need a copy of this. And because we're running this, we'll also need a copy of... Uh, let's see. Do we actually want Dark Knight Lancer? Do we need Dark Knight Lancer even? Not really. So, how about this? How do we summon this once we turn unit? Also, XYZ summon this using 1 rank 3 or 4 XYZ monster you control. So, just any rank 3 or 4, and we can then just make Armor Fortress. And then we'll probably attempt to, to find a way to remove Armor Fortress. So that'll, that'll be fine, I guess. The primary issue now is to be able to make either a rank 3 or 4. So we're going to solve this by throwing in a copy of Terratop. And it pains me, but we're going to have to remove another card here. So we can't remove... Flame High King Genghis. Can we remove King Tell? Uh, I, I don't think we can, honestly. Can we? No, no, no. Not, not reasonable in the slightest. So it has to be either a copy of, like, Gilgamesh or the Dias Machinax. Ah, oh, this sucks, but uh, alright. We'll need copies of Terra Top, and then we'll need. I'll be a Taka Tomberg. And we'll be able to then throw in a rank 3, right? Wait, actually... Yeah. It's fine. We don't want to give up on Baron, though. I personally think Baron is still worth running, so we'll... We'll, we'll keep with this. And then we'll do... Well, for the time being, I guess we'll just temporarily cut... A uh, single copy of Gilgamesh. Or Dias. Uh, let's do Dias, actually, right? Sure. I'd rather have three Gilgamesh, one Dias, than two, two. So, yeah. This really hurts the one-card combo, but it can't be helped. Uh, well, if we do care more about the one-card combo, I guess it's like this. But for the grind game, I guess we don't need to worry about the grind game, do we? Well, all right, then. Now we need some kind of rank 3 to play. And we aren't going to ever use this as Xyz material, so we don't need to care. We don't actually need the in extra interaction with the Lancer, because we're just going to make a uh, Kali Yuga, so... Don't, don't really need... Like, that, that kind of thing, so... Hmm. Now that I think about it, we kind of don't need, like, a, a Siegfried, in a sense. Because we're just going to drop Kali Yuga on our opponent. Hmm. Never really thought about that. But okay. So now we are going to need a rank 3. Depending on how things go, we also make like just a Caesar, I guess, and then rank up. But we, we want it to be a somewhat useful rank 3, right? So ideally, maybe we would play the rank 3 that allows us to draw, if we can make something like that. I mean, Levier is not like the worst thing in the world. Let's see, isn't there a rank 3 that lets you just draw straight up? Or no. Darius. Oh, here we go. XYZ Armor Torpedo. Detach two materials from this card. Draw one card. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's all we care about. So yeah, th this should just work unless I'm forgetting something really obvious. Which I sometimes do. But hopefully not this time. So let's head into a solo gate. And honestly, the danger one doesn't make sense exactly to do this against. Because all, all of their card effects actually trigger in like the hand. Or the graveyard, so doesn't do a whole lot to them, but they, they can't do a lot back, so 
Yeah. A little bit weird, but alright. Let's give it a shot. So, all we need is Terra Top plus one DD starter. And this should allow us to Kaliuga our opponent. And of course, that, that's not the only way we'd be able to do so. This is just really showcasing the concept. So, there, there are technically other ways for us to get into the this trap. Simple way. Trap trick. And then we're just solid, right? So we always start with this. Then this is a trigger. Grab Takatomborg. And just special summon this. Uh, there's only one card that's bad to draw in this deck, so we just hopefully do not draw it. And we do have the space for this, I believe. Well, I'm hoping, at least. Draw. Ash, nice. Then we have this, I think, right? Detach up to two. Okay, so we can detach one. And that is perfectly fine. Full armored Xyz obtained. And then we'll full combo from here. So we do end up summoning uh, both of these guys, I believe, right? So, let's do Kepler, I guess. Or do we want to summon Copernicus first? I think we don't care, actually. They both get summoned at a weird timing, so... Nothing really changes, I don't think. Uh, zone play doesn't super matter here. Just don't place this in the middle, and we should be fine, I think, right? Here, I think it's safe to just dump the Typhon, so we'll just dump Typhon, or Swirl Slime. Typhon, Swirl Slime, Typhon, Swirl Slime. A Typhon. Okay. And then, whatever zone is fine here. I'm going to add a Dark Contract. And this mathematically makes sense, I think, right? Yeah. In my head, it does. Anyways, so. Grab this. And now we will perform our normal summon, finally. And we're going to normal summon Orthros. Yeah. Okay, so we have Baron here. We definitely do not play around Nib here. In fact, it, it would be rather accurate to say we cannot play against Nib here. All right, Baron. And then we have this. Gilgamesh. Keeping in mind we only have two copies of Gilgamesh. Okay, now we scale this and we want to scale. I guess Orthros is usually fine. It doesn't matter here though. So we'll just do a uh, rage. Pendulum summon. We'll want to summon these too. And just to make life easier for me, we'll actually pop this with the Baron. Just to get that off the field so I have more space to work with here. Now we have Wave King Caesar, and we'll probably always still go into this, I think. We have to be careful because we don't have three copies of Gilgamesh, but we don't go three through three in this line anyways. We don't go through our DSs either, so we're kind of lucky that we have such a good hand, I guess. And then we make some room like this. We're sending a card. We have a few options for sends. Uh, right now, I think the best send is obviously going to be Necroslime, so that's what we're going with. 
a more clever way to do things. We, we do have one, right? I mean, maybe. Alright, let's go with this first. And this is our first eight. So we'll just put this here for the time being. It shouldn't matter too much. And then we have our Ragnarok, which we're going to trigger here. This is going to bring back a guy. So is there a way for us to now put Maxman Kingtail back into the graveyard? Or even Caesar? I see. There is not a really good way to go about this. So we'll have to do it kind of scuffed. Okay. To make this actually work, we'll have to go with this then. Then we'll bring back Grenicus as well. And this should be sufficient anyways. So we'll go like this. And then we'll go XYZ summon here. And now we control an XZ's monster. And this is just me messing up. Okay, so th this is not what I should have sent, I guess. This Necro Slime is more hurtful than helpful here. But there was the idea of also using using this to instead make Deus on top of that and then just keep my Gilgamesh here. So I guess I could have done that for more damage on the next turn. And this is already like a somewhat formidable board, which is funny, but okay. We can just do this now, before it is even the main phase. Brutal. And... Boom. Okay, now everything on the field is automatically going to be negated. And we can also activate full armor Dixies if we wish. And wait, that's actually useful because if I activate the effect and then do the pop effect, like assuming I will have to, right? Then I'll be able to um, send one of these guys for like a search, specifically the Wave King Caesar, right? So, like, if we do this, probably on to this guy, we can just equip this, and this will count as leaving the field, right? Let's go to send from field to the graveyard, yep. And then that triggers this to search, and that'll happen in the graveyard, so it's not negated. Pretty cracked. Set pass, yeah, seems about right. And we also don't get burned because we went with rage, okay. If we went with Orthos, there'd be more things we could do. Pretty easy to continue from here, though. We can just add, like, Ragnarok. Normal summon Ragnarok. We could have gotten a better hand, technically, if we opened Griffin, though. So, if we were thinking more along the lines of, like, Griffin lines, it makes more sense. They just kind of, like, in terms of how you would play it, I guess. And then we can pop this, but we don't have any targets that are super good for this, so that kind of sucks. We can search this, though. I mean, that that's something. And then I don't think we can special summon a DD. So, we'll just do this, I guess. Oh. Blindness. Our opponent gets one more turn, I guess. Since we don't have lethal, I'm not going to worry about this too much. And... Yeah, we have the other one to make. Okay. So here, we're going to just do this, this, and banish this. 
and then it should be GG. Could have done this earlier though, I guess, but I just wasn't paying full attention. And this can summon a guy back. Might as well. This will burn us a little bit, but that's okay. Is this lethal? Uh, maybe. Jar of Avarice. No. I don't think you will. Shuffle all five into the deck. All five, you don't say. Uh, let's target... Tsuchinoko? Sure. It's either this or Mothman, really. You will not be shuffling back all five, therefore you do not get the draw. Okay. Ah. Wow. Should have been Mothman. I knew it. Okay, we can still pop it though, so we're, we're just chilling. Feelings. No. And... Yeah, kind of, kind of flubbed the combo here, I guess, but yeah. Does the Kaliuga really add much to our end board? Does it really do much for us? The answer to both of these questions, I think, would be no. But can we do this? Technically, yes. And that, that is the best kind of technically, I guess, right? Technically, yeah. And okay, that was now. What was the other effect? Detach one material from this, then target one. Their contract spell trap in your graveyard, set that target. Yeah, okay. I mean, right now we have none, but okay. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.